Did you ever try to play by yourself? Uh, the technique today we're talking about is play. And people say, oh, you should study and you should work hard. Uh, play is, takes two people to have, when I'm talking about play. Um, play is sustainable. Sometimes you can pass hours at play. Repetition and learning something new takes practice and takes practice that challenges you a little bit harder each time. When you play by yourself like this, I could have won any time I wanted, yes. But when you play with someone else, there's competition, there's support, there's engagement. You are actually built for connecting with other people. There's a saying, no man is an island. Um, we were created to connect with other people and to work better together. When two people work together, it's not one plus one is two. One plus one is a hundred. It is, it is uh, how we are empowered. No one is perfect. No one has everything they need to live in this world. It's when we work together that we come to our highest and best selves and we achieve the most. And certainly, like China, the whole country seems like they work together sometimes. But anyway, let's not go there. Um, the play technique is that you should engage with someone else. Uh, exercising with someone else helps you keep going. They help you and they check you. Uh, in study, that certainly helps. But we are not into hard work study. When you were growing up, every day you woke up, life was an adventure. You were discovering things every day. You were learning all the time and almost all of it was through play and through interacting with other people and the world around you. Play is important and playing with someone else is even more important. Having fun, you can spend your whole life. What is the saying? Love what you work. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Love what you do and you will never work a day in your life. Okay? It will seem like play. That's what we want to achieve with what we're doing. Now, I personally... I, I enjoy music, so karaoke ESL is all based on using American song. We also have many games that we connect with, but I'm really trying to get you guys to create games and to conduct games with each other. It's kind of like a study hall, but it's a fun study hall. It's about having purposeful games to develop our English. And so uh, find ways to have fun with other people. This play means that you are competing or enjoying the learning process with someone else, whether it's with song, a game, or just challenging each other with the questions and answer going faster and faster and faster. Um, these techniques cannot be taken lightly. We want to play hard. We want to play well. We want to play seriously, but have fun and enjoy it. Play is one of our super duper maximum most important thing for me because I get bored easy. And when we do, for me, giving the same classes day after day, by making it play, by engaging each other and teasing and having fun with each other, that I can keep doing. And I think that would work the same way for you. Play. P-L-A-Y. Fun. We put the fun in function. That didn't make sense, did it? <laughs>